Episode 15. We coming again. Let Instagram get all the all the everybody to get in the show. Let's go. We lay in this motherfucker. Make sure you tell everybody to get on this joint. Fuck that shit podcast episode 15. I'm just waiting for my party to get on it. Let me make sure I call all my people real quick. Let them know it's a party tonight. Yeah. 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 How we coming? You know how we pumping. Hey, bitch, I wanna get up by my zone. Shit, I used to fuck up blocks, but now I wonder no some crown shit. Niggas broke and shit, they always pumping down. No shit, like why you telling all your homies not gonna get your own shit. Next, calling all my good peoples to get on this joint. Calling all my good DMV peoples to get on this joint. For my partner, real quick. I'm waiting for my partner to see what my final, what my final finna do. But yeah, we in this motherfucker. Let's get lit in this motherfucker. Producers, if you've been waiting to upgrade your creative toolbox, Yo. now is the best time. Oh, Maybach can hear it. Maybach, hey, it look like Maybach and Maybach is feeling today. Hey. Shout out Deshaun A. She got a show. She got a show tomorrow. Make sure y'all pop out out DC. Uh, if you can, tag, post the address so I can post it. Hey, Miss Maybach Cherry, what's up? <laughs> we, we we miss you. We miss you for real. What's up? Hey, how, how you doing today? <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's the nice. That's a good answer. I'm alive. Yeah, this was so. Well, well, how how your week been? Nigga, you know what type of week I had. The fuck, nigga, been under Man. the weather. Way, Man. way under the weather. Okay, I'm here. Last week I did the podcast in the ice bath. Today I'm alert. So we. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You was in the ice bath last time. You could at least cut the camera. I don't see what we did. I look sick, okay? Nigga no... <laughs> was in the bathtub the whole podcast, and it was, it was a rough week. Y'all make sure y'all have... take care of yourselves. Help Most definitely. Well, nigga. Health is wealth. There you go. Take care of yourself, please, because it is something going around that is very, very serious. Ooh, let them know. Let them um, know. Dijanae is here. Are you here? Is that how you say yeah. it? Dijanae? Yes, she's here. What, what you want to do with her? She got a show tomorrow. Yeah, she got yeah, she got a show tomorrow. I know she's an out of towner, but she got a show tomorrow. Um, yeah, she got a show tomorrow. I, I post, I, I post the fly, I post the fly on my story. Welcome, honey. Welcome. Just let me let me know what you need when you tap in. We get in the DMV. I, I gotta uh. Oh shit! The fuck am I searching? Up? She definitely uh, is. She definitely either she got here yesterday. Oh, she did. Oh yeah, she ain't tapping. I need to give her. I need to give her some uh, some DMV loving. 
She wanna come in my poop. She wanna come in my yapa. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, you. Yeah, I see you twerking. Yeah, you like that? Huh? Oh okay, yeah, you. You full of spirit. You up. You healthy. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I am almost back. One hundred percent. I'm almost back. Man, she she over there fighting the uh the Russian zombies virus. No bullshit. Y'all be careful. <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit. That shit, nigga. nigga. Hey, him two times. What's up, him two times? What's good, DJ Trippy? What's good, DJ Trippy? Everybody, shout out everybody in this joint. Yes, we about to turn up. Like, yeah, most definitely. Uh, let me. Uh, everybody, go tell everybody to come tune in. It's about to get lit. She's getting warmed up. I got my partner back. She's in good. She, she's she's in eighty. She's eighty five percent healthy. Thank so you. I, that, that, that's good enough to have her her nice smile on on the camera for the, for all the for all the viewers. You know what I mean? Because you know I know y'all to get tired of my voice. Y'all like seeing Maybach Cherry. So when y'all see me, y'all like man, we tired. We get tired of looking at this light skin ass nigga. Like we try yeah. to see me, man, you know? like damn. Yeah. Let me uh, hit the. Let me do it. Yeah, we. So how was your week? Like my shit was in the day. My week been pretty productive. I'm I actually been going two times harder in the gym. So I've been going to the gym like like crazy. So uh, I mean. Yeah, I told you. I told I, like I've been telling y'all since since episode ten. It's a it's a it's a it's a hot boy winter. So I'm you know body oh, gonna be looking like outside. I'm gonna be looking like Tarzan. Like, Listen, like I'm gonna be looking like Tarzan by months. Yes, I feel like we be turned during the winter. Like that should be. <laughs> you say, yeah, most definitely. I gotta get that my shit right, cause nigga, we be outside all winter. Most definitely, you talking about winter. We got we we got we got a New Year's Eve party coming up December thirty first. I need everybody to pull up. I mean everybody and their mama pull up. If you if you hit me up by in two weeks, I let you come in for free. If you don't if you don't hit me up in two weeks, then I I, I don't care about you. But yeah, I need everybody to pull up. This is the motherfucking biggest party we ever going throw. I got a lot of I got a lot of performances coming in. I even want Miss uh Miss Don Don to come through if she can come through sing for us, you know I'm I got a lot of good yeah yeah we yeah it's gonna be a little ass event I just know and I need hey Maybach I need you on this too this is I need you on this on this party on on, on this party for sure okay um what was I about to say hey Mister Culture whenever you ready just send a request say who Mister Culture with the K. Mr. Culture. Who's that? Whenever you're ready, go ahead and see real quick. Oh. My fault, my my shit tripping right now. Let me, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, damn, damn. I'm like, should we wait for a few minutes to bring the next to bring a guest on? Yeah, yeah, we we should wait a little bit. We should wait a little bit, probably to like, you know, a couple minutes. I mean, we just gotta warm up the podcast real quick. Um, I'm, I'm I might have to uh, I might have to cancel this and come back on. Just give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. So before he. Yo, 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 I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I don't know what was going on with Instagram. Was, Instagram was tripping real quick. Uh, just get all my good people back on this podcast. Turn all my good people. Where may back at? Hey. Hey, what's good, what's good, what's good? I'll just get May back on this joint. What's good, everybody? Out here giving opportunities. The DMV is growing. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to continue to grow the DMV. Uh, this is one. What's one platform? 
I want everybody to utilize to use the network to uh, work uh, work with other people to get tuned in to different managers, producers, artists, you know, just different backgrounds and different life or walk, walk of life. You know, we got models on here. So use this, use this network as a platform to help you grow and help you network throughout the DMV. But yeah, we, we well, we well connected. We well plugged in. So, so just let us know. What's good, Maybach? My phone, phone was tripping. Phone was out here tripping, you know. Mr. Culture, okay, you want to add Mr. Culture? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He been he, he been supposed to been on this joint like two podcasts ago. Oh yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna have to hold him accountable. And we're gonna have to hold Mr. <laughs> Mr. Culture. Let me know if this works. What's up? How y'all doing? Is that fuck that shit podcast? Yo, my bad uh -huh. about some of the technical difficulties here. Man, technical. I don't know what's going on today. It, 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 it's, it means, and you know what that means? It's a good day because Instagram trying to mess us up. Well, what's up, That's man? Right. How you doing? Good, my brother. How you doing? I'm doing swell, man. That's what's up, man. Appreciate y'all for having me on this. Oh, no. Nah, thank you very much for tapping in. Most definitely. Most definitely. I know it was a little difficult last couple of weeks. Just had a lot going on, but I appreciate y'all for for being diligent. <laughs> we, we appreciate you for being diligent. He like, he's like, hey. Yeah, you, 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 lucky, you lucky you stopped me in my tracks because I was about to go off. I was like, yo, Mr. Culture was supposed to be here two podcasts ago. I was supposed to hold you accountable. <laughs> I to hold I you know, accountable. Man, was, my fault, man. I was just, just, you know, moving spots, move, moving to a different location. So that gets a little hectic, man. Man, that's that's that, 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 that's all good. That's what's up. Okay, what y'all got so, going on though? Okay, it's it's a lot going on. What you? It's about you. What you got going on? Tell us about oh, yourself. Tell the people where you from. Like, what you got going on? And I'm gonna tap in and play some. For sure, for sure. No, most definitely. So, uh, Ali Culture, I'm originally from Pakistan. I grew up on the south side of San Jose, and then I moved to Alexandria, uh, Virginia in high school. And I've lived pretty much everywhere in, in, in northern Virginia since then. I've lived everywhere from Alexandria to Manassas and, and everything in between. Um, and I actually just moved into uh, a different spot in Prince William County. Um, got a lot going on with the music, you know. Um, just did some with Jim Jones. Um, did some with Juicy J earlier this year. Got a lot of big producers, um, you know, on the team right now. Shout out to Omar Takeoff Music Group. Shout out to Wally. He got a good little thing going on with Taylor Gang right now. That's my other producer. Um, we got an album called Astro Eye coming out real soon. So, you know, just just grinding. That's what's up. Hey, hey, I heard some I heard some big okay, names. So I heard some big names. Yeah, I'm most definitely. Like originally from Pakistan. So it's like like that to be that's a distance. I went from one side of the world to another side of the world. Yeah, I'm like like how did you end up here? Like <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to figure this shit out myself. I haven't figured it out yet. You know, I, was, I was I was born out there. I moved to to uh California when I was five. Then I moved out to Virginia when I was 15, you know? Um, okay, so and, it and then, nothing to do with you. You still trying to figure nah. things out. <laughs> yeah, you know, after that is when I started figuring things out. So, you know, shout out to Virginia at the end of the day because that's where, you know, uh, I, I owe all my um, uh, uh, growth as a man. Okay. Shout out VA. Yeah. We got, out, we out here grown men. 100%. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so... All right, so you got you done named a lot of big names. Like, how long have you been doing music? Just like everybody else, you know, it feels like my my whole life. That's the only way this kind of works, you know, is if enough to be uh, therapy for yourself. You know what I mean? That's the only way you can keep some kind of authenticity, and it's not gimmick oriented. It's something where you kind of release your emotions. Um, and, and and it becomes therapy to you, you know. If if music isn't therapeutic, then your longevity is going to be very contained. You know, you're not going to get far. 
So it feels like I've been doing it my whole life, and good thing is it's keeping me sane. Mm -hmm. hey. Clap it up for that. Music like, is therapeutic. It's, it's so crazy. Most because definitely. It's usually men that be talking about how stuff is keeping them sane, like how music has kept them sane. Like it's usually the men that is tapping into mental health. So that's like very, very important. Like extremely oh. important. Like how. Like, haven't you noticed that, Boots? Like, it's usually men that discuss mental health that have been discussing mental health in our podcast. It's like a trend. Yeah, I, I have been a trend uh, with men talking about mental health because I think I think it, it it is a thing with mental health with men out here. Uh, we, do we our voices are not heard. You know, we don't really talk a lot. We don't really voice out a lot. We usually use other things to help us cope and heal and substitute the um. The emotions and uh, I guess I guess traumas that we go through, but you know, and but the world says uh, you men suck it up. So I mean, man, I couldn't agree more. You know, and that's why it's so crazy. I was actually reading about something about that the other day on how suicide rates for men is so much higher than it's ever been um, in the last twenty to thirty years, and that's a crazy thing because just like uh, the brother just said, it's like as a man, you know, one there's this whole thing about being a toxic man that's so like prevalent right now right but it's like yo how do you define a man being toxic if it's just a manly characteristic and then it's like yo you're not allowed to display characteristics that quote unquote could be defined as too manly so you got to keep it to yourself and it's like yo men are killing themselves right now at a different rate because where do you go how do you vent? Where, where do you vent to? Because you can't necessarily show that much weakness and vulnerability to your significant other or like, you know, I grew up in a single parent household. So it's been me, my mom, my sister, my whole life. You you, you can't necessarily, I, I, I never felt comfortable going to my, you know, mom or my sister and dump all my problems because it's like, who are they going to lean on? So it's like, where do you go as a man to to be able to express things that you're going through? Because li like the brother says, like you got to suck it up and just keep going. Um, so I'm grateful for music at the end of the day, you know, because at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's a, it's definitely a diary. It's a journal. It's where you get to dump everything, you know? Yes, sir. Yes, I definitely get it. And it's like, so it's just, to me, it has been an eye opening experience. How males have been, so upfront about confronting mental health issues and stuff and how they're using music or other aspects of their talent to thrive in their mental health. It's a beautiful thing. I'm like, yeah, away. yeah. I, and, and I hope, um, you know, we as artists get a chance to do it better um, and, and, and can help uh, other men, you know, to be able to have someone to relate and identify with and be able to have a coping mechanism through the music because music is powerful, you know, no, no, no matter how you look at it, music reflects on people's moods and it can alter a, a negative mood, a depressed mindset. Um, so absolutely. And, and I feel like, you know, for, for rappers, we're like, <laughs> we're like the most vulnerable profession on earth. It's like, there's no rappers union, you know, there's no union of rappers protecting the interests of rappers or teaching any kind of uh, financial literacy that could help somebody buy a couple of houses before they buy a couple of chains. Um, there's no, nobody uh, centrally saying that, you know what, like, okay, you might feel protected. Like everybody wants to say they're the, the biggest, you know, street individual and they're not. And they got to protect certain things. So it's like, if you move around past your hometown, because you might feel safe in your hometown, even though most rappers, unfortunately, get killed in their hometown, but you might feel comfortable doing a show. You might feel comfortable moving around in, in places like that because you got people with you. But when you go out of state, you don't got necessarily the same exact connection you would at home. So where's the rappers union that could provide some protection for the trophies that we might have as a chain, you know? Um, so it's, it's like, there's, there's just, there's so many vulnerabilities for rappers and there's, there's such an opportunity for rappers instead of beefing with each other. And, you know, it, it's competitive, but you could compete on a track together. You know what I'm saying? Compete on a track together, show who who's more versatile. 
it doesn't have to be something where it literally turns into other things and, you know, becomes something that it doesn't need to. Right. I completely feel you at all aspects of that, man. I'm yeah, 100%. All right, man. I got some people tuning in now. That's good. I, I put the word out right at the last second for y'all. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, for sure. I'm sorry. I think you cutting off. I don't know if it's me or if it's you. Is that? Am I cutting off? No, nah, no. Nah, it's Maybach. Maybach's calling off. Can you hear me? Okay, I can hear you. I, I hear you clearly. Yep. Miss Maybach. Yeah. Oh yeah, she she there. She there. Okay, there you are. My, my bad. You you just you just get a choppy, getting choppy a little bit. I said. Basically, so we have, okay, so we've been hearing a lot about, like, people coming together, and I noticed that in Virginia, y'all seem to be, not saying, like, y'all seem to be more together, but it seems like y'all are developing a collective amongst each other, um, that, like, a, a nice network that is easy to tap into. I feel the best music comes from... I, I feel that way. I agree with that. You know why? It's because we get shitted on so much. We get shitted on by, like, I got so many people in, in D.C. and Maryland, right? I got brothers throughout the whole thing. But we get shitted on so much and for so long in, in this DMV, like, situation, right? No matter what, Virginia get the most amount of shit. It's like, it's like I, I don't understand sometimes when, when I talk to people about it, right? It's like, yo, do y'all realize there's, there's 3 million people in Fairfax County and almost 3 million people in Prince William County, which are the two counties that encompass Northern Virginia, right? So you think there's no Section 8 in 6 million people? You don't think the truth of America holds true in 6 million people? That there's Section 8 public housing, people that have free lunch, people that go through real struggle? It, it, it's We get shitted on so much. like And see, see what you can never do in the world is... Uh, diminish somebody's hunger. When 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 you start to put down somebody else's hunger, what happens is that that hunger starts to multiply. You know what I mean? And th that that is what has been kind of the the fabric of the unity that started to happen. And and big shout out to everybody in in Northern Virginia doing it, man. There, there there's too many for me to name, but you know I want to shout out my brother Benz. He's the one that told me about y'all. Um, hey. And, and you know that, that's that's my brother. We go back since, since high school. Um, so it, 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 you know, at the end of the day, it's that it's that unity um, that's come from Virginia just getting shitted on. <laughs> you know, because everybody always got something to say about Virginia cops. But hey, think about it this way, right? We grew up in Section Eight situations on free lunch with those cops. So our survival techniques get to a little bit of a different level when you've had to maneuver with those kind of scenarios, you know? So, it, it, you know what I mean? Like we, it's That's what's caused the unity, you know what I mean? That's what's caused the unity is that it's been put down too much. So now it's like it, it starts to fizzle and it starts to come out the bottle. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, most definitely. I most definitely want to see more Virginia. Most, Virginia most definitely be got a movement going on, so it's it's coming crazy right now. So yeah, it's yeah. like I be trying to tell people like I've been noticing it a lot lately. And when I was like, I said y'all gonna be shit, y'all gonna shit on Virginia so much that it's gonna be Virginia in, in a minute. They gonna be like, yeah, VA Virginia versus the world. Yeah, yeah. they're going to be like, Check yeah, it VA out. here, and, and VA is going to be the place that you will want to be from, like, and I'm like, it's like historical value, like, if we want to go from history, it's like, majority of the mainstream artists that came, musical artists that came from this area are from Virginia. Yeah, and look, hey, you know, it, it's, it's undeniable know. that to give shout outs to D.C. and Maryland, like, no matter what. It's just yes. for Virginia, you can't help but feel like you got to constantly fight for that. And I want to give a big shout out to everybody that's been saying Virginia since it be before it became cool to say Virginia. Now it's like you, you, you definitely say Virginia. Nobody is like fronting like that. Oh, I'm from, you know, the city or I'm from Maryland when you from Virginia. Now it's cool. But I want to give a shout out to everybody that did it when they were really doing it, you know, because we felt like, yo, 
we're going to represent for where we are struggling, where we are, where we have our struggle, where we are overcoming. So, you know, we've been saying Virginia forever at the end of the day, man. You know, um, we never, we never stop saying that. Okay. So what's your, what, okay. So what's your plans as far as music? Like, what are you, what are, what's coming up for 2023 for you? You know, it's, it's crazy. Cause, um, I was with my brother uh, Omar the other day. That's my producer, Takeoff Music Group. And, you know, we've been recording for over a decade at this point. You know, the, a decade ago, we were on a 256 uh, megabyte computer and the jump blew up, you know. But, you know, things have progressed from an equipment perspective now. And he, he, we were just talking, you know, we did this record. And he was like, my brother, you know, out of all the people that I work with, get a chance to work with, the reason why, and, and me and Ben's like, that's our brother, Omar. He, 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 you know, producer for both of us. He was like, with you and Ben's, what's different is that even after 10 years, every time you get behind the mic, it gets a little bit better. And that meant so much to me because my brother Omar is a very constructively, uh, he, he will criticize you when you do something wrong. You don't hold back. You know what I mean? On anybody. So, I appreciated that so much because he's been there since day one to see the progression from an artistic perspective. And like the, the last five, six records we've done to me, they, they sound so crazy that I have a hard time not being uh, uh, highly critical of myself. Cause I'm like, I can't be feeling my own shit that much. Cause I don't really be feeling my shit like that, you know? But now it's like the music just keeps elevating. And I really look forward to sharing it with everybody on, on what we got coming out. We got a lot of big features. I got, you know, I got a lot of people overseas that um, also send me a lot of love. And that, that really means a lot when, like, some, some you know, teenager or somebody in, in the U.K. like sends you messages and tells you how, you know, your music helped them through something. You know what I mean? Um, or people just in different parts of the world when they, when they send you uh, messages like that, it means a lot. The way I look at it now, it's like, I just want to keep doing that. You know, I want to feel like regardless of where I'm getting, every time I get behind the mic, I do something where I can say that I feel like it got better than even before. You know, I want to age artistically like gourmet cheeses, you know, not just fine wine. You mm. know what I mean? I want to, um, that, that's how I want, I want it to go because at the end of the day, you can't necessarily put like, an expiration tag on art. Art resonates the way it resonates. You know what I mean? And it goes the way it goes. So, I, I you know, I, we got a lot of music coming out, man. And, and there's a whole team behind it. Um, and, you know, I just look forward to sharing it with everybody. I, I got a question. Uh, do you, do, are you mixing your, your culture with, with the, with hip hop? Oh, yeah, 100%. You know what I'm saying? Because, look, before I'm a rapper, before I'm an entrepreneur or I do anything else, I'm a Muslim. That, that's that's what I am. I'm an ak. I'm an aki. I do this for all the aks out there. Um, and and there's there's a lot throughout the whole world. And, and we patched in 100%. Um, and, and there's, you know, there's a lot to that. Um, so the culture is me being a Muslim the, Islamically that's what I represent for the most that's why I don't even curse in my music you know I try to it, there, there's a, a, a saying uh, that says that um, your ears are, are the gateway to your heart so don't listen to anything that corrupts your heart you know what I mean so I just want to try to put music out there that isn't just you know talking about um, you know women being exploited or some kind of a, a fantasy life of being Pablo Escobar, because you're not. And, um, you know, I, I want to keep the music authentic. I want to keep it genuine. I want to keep it real to who I am in every aspect. And I want to I want to deliver it in a way where I also understand that there are people listening to me throughout the world that I can have an impact on maybe changing their mood, you know, doing something where they feel a little bit differently or, 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 you know, it, it, it makes them feel like things are all right. Um, you know what I mean? So, uh, that's, 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 you know, the, the culture 
has to be a part of hip hop is culture, and you got to be true to your culture and bring it to hip hop. So I, you know, I don't feel like I ever falsified anything in my life. And I got too many brothers around that if I start saying some dumb shit or if I ever said some shit that I can't say, there's too many people that are going to say something right away that I keep around me. You know what I mean? Nothing is ever going to get exaggerated. Right. I completely understand. Yeah. I definitely understand that. He said, nah, I got brothers that's going to make me keep it real. Fuck that. No matter what. I'm going to do the same with them. <laughs> 100 percent you know what i mean you know, you know that that type of uh um content it's very easy to see when someone's uh trying to personify an image that they find to be cool you know uh you, you can understand it when they speak um so you know we never felt the need to be anything we're not You got any more questions? Man, man, how you linking with Jim Jones, yo? I seen that. Yo, yo. No. How, you, how, the, how you get that link up, though? How's that experience? Can I, can I, okay, can oh, I play great. The track? Can I play yeah, so, the so that's a, yeah, yeah, good. That's an international track. The hook is in a different language, but obviously I'm rapping in, in English, and so is Jim Jones. Okay, okay. Uh, all right, let's get to the track then. You got you got you got the song? I got it. Uh, I sent you I sent you a couple of records too that I haven't even released yet. Oh let me go to my Yeah. I, I emailed them to you just um I just saw my just did. Uh the Jim Jones was through uh uh my brother DJ Rob. Me me and Rob go way back, you know? So we've been we've been putting in a lot of work. Um and we got a lot more work coming, man. Like we got a lot more things on the works too. Man, tap yeah, in with that, you, a thousand motherfuckers in here now. I don't even want to curse. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> man, hey, I mean, we 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 apologize if we have the person, but you know, it's fuck, it's fuck that shit podcast. You know, what I mean? <laughs> that's yeah. true. That's true. It's all good. It's all good, man. <laughs> The shit go get caught. I got a distribution deal through Empire right now. They don't miss shit. Ooh. They don't miss shit. 
All right, never mind. I ain't trying to get sued. Maybe yeah, back. yeah. Don't do it. Don't do no, it. I'm don't, telling you, don't do it. We do. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. I'm, just, I'm playing with y'all. I know y'all playing. I know y'all playing. I, 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 I'm saying, though, like that, even unintentionally, one of my brothers, I, I just did a little, um, I had a little scene in, in my boy Polo's movie, The Lot. Um, if y'all haven't checked it out, y'all should check it out. My my man's Polo the Bear. Um, he he just he did a movie called The Lot, and he had some music in there. And Empire caught that shit and made it a problem. It, it, it gets complicated. <laughs> hey. It gets, <laughs> it gets, it gets complicated. a little complicated. It gets sticky. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nah, we all, <laughs> we all we did was ask when we play it. We ain't even going with no smoke. Ah, <laughs> uh, nah, <laughs> man. <laughs> um, so, so the so the track she played was that the track with Jim Jones or was that nah. was that no nah, you just did that. Nah, I just did that out the studio. Yeah, that was just just some some shit I sent. Um, the the track with Jim Jim Jones is uh it's everywhere. It's called uh Chasing M's. Um, there's a there's a video for it. Um, the video came out crazy. Y'all should definitely check out the video. Um, and and shout out to Big Bird. Uh, Big Bird's the producer on that record. Big Bird is huge overseas. Um, he got crazy crazy fan base uh, throughout the whole world. Um, and you know, I'm working with him a lot. So big shout out to Big Bird. Uh, it's probably one of the dopest producers I ever worked with in my life, man. So, um, look forward to doing more things with him. He, he's also the one that did, uh, the all winners record. Um, that's the one that had Juicy J on it. Man, shout out, man. Man, I, I'm, 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 I'm saying. Is there anything that you want to, uh, is there anything that you want to let your fans know or your supporters know? Right. Man, I just events coming up or anything. Uh yeah, so uh the uh, Astrock the album should be out uh by late January. Um man, I just appreciate everybody that's listening. You know, every day there's there's new listeners that I'm seeing and I and I just appreciate y'all, man. Just I appreciate y'all for staying tapped in with me, um, for messaging me all the love that y'all send me. Um and I promise that, you know, I take that to heart. Uh, and I and I take that responsibility very seriously, and I want to do something where I continue um, to provide y'all with the kind of music that you can gravitate towards. So I just want to say thank you, man, and thank you to you guys for having me on here. I appreciate it, um, and I, and I felt really bad for kind of lightweight woofing the, the first two times. That's not even like me, so I appreciate y'all for getting me back on here. That's uh, no, no problem, man. Appreciate you thank showing you. the, 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 the IG live. The show. Fuck the show. With you. So, uh, let the people know where they can find you at, the new supporters. For sure. Everything is at Mr. Culture, Culture with a K. Um, stream me on YouTube. Find me on Apple Music. Stream me on Spotify. Stream me on Tidal. Let me know what you think. You like it, don't like it. It's all good. Just let me know how you feel. That's what's up. Well, thank you for tapping in the Fuck That Shit podcast. We really appreciate you. I appreciate y'all, man. Thank you. I'm going to come back soon. Let me know when y'all want to do it again. When, yes, when, yes, when are you releasing the music so we can... Uh... For sure. I got you. You know, uh, at next time, as soon as I'm dropping something, I'm uh, I'm going to shoot y'all something and you let me know when, when you want me to come back. All right, bet. Cool. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all be good. Hey, you too, man. Stay safe. Thank you. That was... Yeah. It is bumping, it's lit in this. Hey, but who else hey. we got? Who we pulling up? DJ Trippy. You said who? DJ Trippy. DJ Trippy. All right, let's see. DJ Trippy. We got DJ Trippy. Who else we got? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? What's up? Hey, what up? Good, 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 good. Thank you for tapping in the Fuck That Shit podcast. Nah, for sure. I've been seeing y'all. I've been seeing y'all working. I can respect the grind, like, you know, bringing on different people with different stories. Like, I like it. That's what's up. Okay, so tell the people who you are. I I go by DJ Trippy Sam. Uh, I am a DMV promoter. A lot of people know me because of the celebrity events that I do. Uh, throughout the DMV, uh, I've worked with big names like Two Chains, Gucci Mane, Lil Dirk, Moneybag Yo, and a lot of others. Okay, hey. so, 
So yo, so how you get the name DJ, but you a promoter? All right, so that's the kicker. So I, when I first started, like in the into sound, I was a sound engineer. Okay. Well, basically audio visual technician. So from that, I kind of branched off into DJ, and I had a DJ come to my uh, come to my high school, and I showed him <laughs> what I could do, and he like I could put you on, and I'd have heard that from a bunch of people. Everybody like they gonna put you on, but. This one DJ, he like he started booking me shows like uh, I was sixteen doing adult parties. So from that, once the pandemic hit, it was like the budget for a DJ isn't basically what I was looking to be making. But as a promoter throwing events, it's a way bigger like you can really make some money. All right. So okay, so you do like celebrity events like where your where your parties be at. Uh, last year, um, Halloween weekend, we had Lord Dirk at BET Studios, and then, no, the Halloween weekend, we had Ari, and then a Howard Homecoming weekend, we had Lord Dirk at BET Studios. Uh, we do them all over. We have different pool parties, uh, that happen throughout, let's say, the year that I think anybody should tap in. I promise you, like, if you're in the DMV and you want an event, we it's a it's a way to network and be able to get your music out there. Okay, so when you like what what you doing right now? Where? So I'm an audio visual technician. So what I do is uh, the audio, anything that has to do with audio visual, I install it for a living. So different companies reach out to me, and I'm a, basically a private contractor. Okay. I do. Uh, Promoting on the side, I have a New Year's event coming up uh, located at Base Lounge. What day? Uh, New Year's, December thirty first. Uh, we got a we got a party. Man, we, we got we got a party. Yeah. We gonna have to we, we gonna have we gonna have to collab. We gonna nah, have to collab sure. with something, hey, hey, bro. I we gonna... I do. I, I'm trying to be a part of the movement as much as possible. Yeah. Most that. Hey. Hey, listen, you came to the right place. It's the right network. It's the right home you want to be. We're going to most definitely take care of everybody. Everybody going to most definitely eat. So we're going to have to talk about that business on the back end. Yo. Yeah, the back end. You feel me? I'm not like the yeah. back end. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Okay, so you got a party coming up. You Do you got like weekday parties and stuff? So I work with other promoters. Uh, Sunday brunches at Ozio's and Cowdy's. So if you ever looking for a brunch, but there's all types of things. If anybody was to hit me up any day of the week and say, all right, what's going on? I guarantee you I got to move because the promoters that I've worked with in the past years, they do that's great That's my business. shit. How you, that's, Boosie, he, he really getting into my shit. That's my shit. That's what yeah, we Yeah. Woo. So, well, yeah, I mean, you, what can I say? We, I like to be definitely gotta tap in because you, I, I gotta know what May, you. Maybe you do have an event. Maybe you have an event for what? Just let me know. I, hey, I, I pop out, pop some bottles. It's whatever. It don't matter. Probably. I love to come support. That's hey. what's up. That's what's up. We gonna ride. That's that's. I rather like as a promoter. People like you a promoter. Like yeah, but I I throw events. But but it's a it's a stigma that people I guess when you hear promoter it's automatically associated with bad things janky or whatever. But you actually have promoters who do good business and look out for the people that come out and support them. Like I have from events that I've done prior, I have regulars that if I know that I'm throwing an event, they're gonna come and buy a bottle or come and support me because they're gonna get supported on the back end. I mean, I feel like that's how it should be anyway. Like, I feel like that's that's the name of the game in this shit. Like, people be missing it. I feel like people don't be wanting to, like, support each other in this shit. It's like, it's like as much as, like, the music has, like, this stigma of being unified, it's the same type of way in the nightlife. It's like, Promoters don't want to work with certain promoters. People want their own money. People want to be greedy. Like, I, and for me, I don't understand it because it's like for me, if I'm 
if I know that I can network with, let's say, you all, and you all may have something to bring to the table that I may not have, why not let us both eat? See, I'm the type of person that I'm not going to tell somebody, come and have a seat at my own uh, at my table. Build your own table so that we come together with our own different things. Yep. You be good at what you good at, period. <laughs> But I got, I got to kind of hold you accountable for. I'm, I'm kind of like the, 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 the other side of thing. I'm gonna have to hold you accountable. What was, what, what about the, the DMV talent? Uh, you know, DMV talent that we got that kind of got a buzzing name. Like, why well, I don't see them in them big platforms that you saying? I hear, I hear a little dirt. I hear, you know, all these people, but I don't hear no DMV talent. I, I, you know. Okay, so don't get me wrong. I have I have worked with some DMV talent as far as let's say No Savage, Big Flock, Fat Trail. I just did probably last month. I did Flowers Homecoming, and we bought out Gizwa, Baby Swipey. So there's nothing wrong with DMV artists, but I like stuff that's not practical. Like when we did last year May, we was in Miami at King of Diamonds. That's not practical. That's not something that normal promoters is just going to do. So I like stuff that is out the box that make people be like, okay, let me come to this. Let me do this. But there's nothing wrong with, you know what I'm saying, DMV artists. I support them. I, I like what they do. But I'm just, I know that for the type of stuff that I'm doing, I'm not trying to be in the DMV with it because I've done did events outside the DMV. All right, all right. So what's, what's the events like outside of the DMV? It's a you meet people that aren't selfish. And what I mean by that is like you may have an event in the DMV where people you might bump into somebody, step onto somebody's shoes, and it's a whole altercation. But when you go into like let's say Miami or in Atlanta. People are just there to have a good time. They not there to get into stuff. They not there to, you know what I'm saying, cause problems. They there to be there with each other and have fun. Somebody said the events at other states be so much love. And yeah, love. like people, people, I don't have people like when we did Tatted Sky from Black Ink Crew at King of Diamonds, it was so much love that she gave me $700 in ones. At the party, right then and there, she said, I love your energy, this, this, that, and the third. Here you go. This is my gift to you just because of how you move and how you work. That's what's up. Shit. Yeah. Definitely. We gonna see you. We gonna see you. We gonna get right. We gonna put you. They treat you like you famous. If they like your music. It's a, it's and it's it, yeah like if they like your music it's a whole nother level of respect because it's not like this is what I say it's not like the DMV where everybody trying to make music uh, that's what I say everybody everybody not trying to be a rapper feel like they could be in the studio drop the next hottest hit like everybody knows their role plays their position and helps each each other out as a collective. I'm from Florida, and we be dealing with the same shit down here. But it's getting better since our wave came out of the house. So it's like, now it's time to get on. No, for sure. Like, are we, whenever I do events, I always try to do it a certain type of way that it's more unified than it is separate. Like, for me, I try to work with as many different people as possible because everybody has a certain type of aspect that, or some type of story that I don't know. You may, let's say, y'all may have been in the nightlife for seven, eight years and seen other stuff that I may not have. So it's like, all right, you could be like, hey, Trippy, look, this is what's going on. I want you to understand this. And I could be like, hey, I didn't even understand that aspect. I didn't even know that this could really be going on. Mm. Well, okay, so what's some advice that you got for an upcoming promoter? Like, like, what would you tell them? 
as an upcoming, if you want to get into the promoting game, when you first start out, it will be a lot of doubt. That is what I will say. You will have a lot of people who treat you like you're their lesser because you're new to the game. You don't understand every aspect. And it's like, you're going to, you're going to mess up. You're going to fall, but it's about picking yourself back up and knowing who you're working with. Do your background, do your research, know, you know, who you're working with. Don't just work with anybody because they look cool. But it, I think that if you are trying to get started, I think it's the best route to go and stay solidified in the team that you work with. Like, don't try to hop around, oh, promote at this club, promote at this club. Start somewhere. Start at the ground. Build a, build a team, you know, build from that, and then start doing other aspects and getting into other events. Yeah. Facts. Big facts. Blessing the podcast today, big facts. Yes, yes. Okay, Bossing so up the Let the people know where they can find you at. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Real DJ Trippy. Uh, I'm all on all social media platforms: Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, if you need any type of audio, visual, record, studio, anything, tap in with me too. I got my own company, and yeah, just thank y'all for this opportunity. I appreciate it. I most definitely appreciate you. Link up. Yes, definitely tap in. No, nah, for sure. All right, thank y'all. Y'all have a good night. Hey, you too, sir. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Uh. Is he still on there? What's going on? It's like it's buffering. <laughs> uh, what's going on? There we go. He's up. Yes. Uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the next person mm -hmm. is Marilyn Mascot. Let's see if he sent a request. John, John, <laughs> I'm at the I'm at the end of this restart this live man. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm back trying to get back. everybody back in this joint. Woo! Wait me back yet? Let's get back at everybody. Let's get back at everybody. Jump was just tripping. Yo, 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 yo. Let's flood everybody back in this joint. Let's get everybody back in this joint. Hey. Wait, let me crank some. Everybody back in the joint. Let's let the joint back in. Hey. I'm playing my life right now. Before they take this joint. <laughs> hey, before they take this bitch down. Let's get, all right, let's get me back in this joint. Let's get this joint back started again. This joint was just. Tripping like a bitch. Hey. Who we adding in this joint? We got the cannabis, man. 
We got the cannabis on lock. Hey, y'all show sure love tonight. Everybody popping out tonight. Y'all show sure most definitely show sure love tonight. Y'all show sure so much love. Maybach out here got to how to eat her dinner on the live. But oh, we alive. Let's go. <laughs> Who else we got in your? I apologize. Instagram be tripping. But lately, Instagram be trying to take me down. I don't know, take us down. I don't know why they trying to take the duo. You know, we got that shit coming back to back to back. Getting all these, all these guests on this joint going crazy. I show it. I see everybody showing love. Who, who else we getting getting here on the night? We got, we got about one more hour left of the show. One second. <laughs> Watch y'all blazing tonight, man. I, I got this, this, this little good, good pack of. Good pack of Zah, my my little with my little boot thing got, but you know that's what I'm doing. With good state tree down, real El Chapo shout out, Tay Getter shout out, man. DMV Cabinets shout out, Official Banks shout out, man. Shout out everybody in this joint, everybody. Shout out Cassie, shout out Maybach, shout out Official Boots, shout out Boss of DMV. Yeah. <laughs> You just gave a whole Grammy award speech. Shout out. <laughs> I should. I should. I should start. I should start getting trophies. And I just start giving out to people. People deserve trophies. I'm like, you know what? You deserve a trophy, man. You're like, you're you're great. You won. But you got you got to win another one because you know we got to keep the trophies coming. We trying to be great. We trying to be a better person every single day. A better better version. Yeah, I got my hair done. You said what? Oops, you see, I got my hair there. I don't know what are you talking about. This joint, all this, all this right here, all natural. So I don't, I don't know what you mean. You say you dyed it? Is it brown? It's like blonde. Blonde? Oh, I see. Oh, oh, okay. Oh shit, my eyes. I was fucking up for a second. I said, oh, that joint. I like that color. I know. Shit. Well. Hey, hold on. Shout out Miss Monica. Who you got? I ain't, I ain't, hey, you, did you smoke? <laughs> I don't think you smoke today. I don't yeah. make, you did? Yes. I'm, I'm probably just, I'm, yeah, we, we got, we got a lot, we got a lot of people. Nigga, we got I am people. like, come on. We ready. Who, who else? Who else we putting on? Why you saying what you Huh? I'm like, I'm looking at a chat that's going on that I need to be responding to. Why you see? Like, people coming in late. Oh. Now, we had some people coming early. We had Tay. Tay got, he, he was here. He was on time. What's his name? Uh, yeah, Tay, I think Tay is like Tay is last. Oh, he last. Oh, well, well, well. Who else we got? We got two more people before Tay. Sheesh. Yes, like so. He they need to hurry up before Tay be gone. I've been getting paid a thousand. Hey. Who? What's uh who is that? B X K N K. Who is that? Who that? Who do? Who you? The official bank. I don't know. I don't know who that is. But uh, he. I, I think he's tapping in today. Uh, shout out him. Anybody tapping in? Shout out. We appreciate y'all. Uh, we got Chris the King. You know Chris the King. Oh, cash flow. Cash flow. Uh, the official banks is cash flow. Wow. You know, nobody named Cash Rogue. <laughs> well, that's what I'm like, huh? I don't know who this is, <laughs> but I know that they need to hurry up because we got like three more people. Right? If they want, if you want to get on, send a request. Who the Fisher Banks? I don't know who that is. All right, I right, we accept it. 
We gotta keep the show, keep on going. <laughs> so um, no, you didn't. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Hi, how are you? Ooh. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I was just tapping in with the show, taking in some of the advice I was getting from the artists and, you know, promoters I was bringing in today, you know? That's what's up. Yeah. So, what, you, uh, you a rapper or something? Yeah, I'm an upcoming artist from PG, Maryland. I sent in a couple of songs, you know. Okay, that's what's up. But, so, you uh, going to be an actual guest? For sure. I would love to. I would love to. Definitely would love to do that. All right, so tap in with me. I got you. All right, bet. All right. Hold on a second. I am so hungry. Like I'm just getting my appetite back. You just, you just munching. Oh shit! I was not eating like that. Do that. <laughs> I everything me. I got some type of egg. <laughs> like, <laughs> nigga, I wish, nigga, I was sick on Thanksgiving, nigga. I want to have Thanksgiving over. Literally, hey, someone say your greedy ass. I don't give a fuck. I don't give no. Fuck. Greedy ass. So are we adding uh, are we adding mascot and yes. Levi? Having? We adding both? Who? No. no, he next. Mary mascot, Mascot, come on. Hurry uh, up, y'all is slowing me down. Slowing me down. Uh, and slowing me down. <laughs> What's up, y'all? What up, though? <laughs> money, hey. money and music, man. Nothing less than. Nigga, we is on the clock. I know. My mothers keep both. Pat mother and my mother kept calling me while I was trying to go live with y'all. In the midst of y'all resetting the live and shit. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. let the people know. I ain't no such thing as safe. You are. Hey. Introduce yourself. You too, bro. I love you, man. Um, I go by Merlin Mascat. Um, I go by Merlin Mascat because don't nobody, I don't care who you know that represent Merlin. Don't nobody do it like me. I guarantee you. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's what I'm talking about. No, he ain't talking that shit. He said, yeah, nobody represent Merlin more than me. That's it. Talk that shit. Wait, hold on, hold on. Where's okay, this coming so from? What? Coming, it's coming, like, coming from how you know you That's where it's coming. How do I know that I represent Merlin more than anybody? <laughs> yep. Because uh, I recently just went to uh, the girls' basketball game. I think two Sundays ago, and I got a chance to tap in with the with the with the, with the head coach for the girls' team, and you know, even some of the girls. I haven't even posted it yet. I actually. I'm just sitting on the footage. I'm waiting. My daughter was like the perfect photographer for that situation and all of that. And I know I'm so much of a movement on people that I know and that know me, should I say. It's like when I went to transition my name from J Stacks to Merlin Mascot, it literally was for, it, it literally was to look for a cover art because I was going to drop a project in March around March Madness and call it Merlin Madness. So I just decided to look up Merlin Mascot because I'm thinking he might got his own page. I'm just going to go in there, screenshot a picture and just use it for the cover art. I go to look this up. It don't exist. Oh, so I am him. <laughs> so I am him at this point. And my little cousin say, he said, cuz, I ain't going to hold you. I don't know no nigga that represent Merlin the way you do, bro. <laughs> I know it started out with just me. it started out with just me representing Oxen Hill. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, which I'm currently in right now. Hold on, turn this motherfucking camera around for you right here. Oxen Hill, Merlin. You know what I'm saying? Sam's Club, all that good shit. There, we outside with it. Um, but outside of that. Who 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 else that you know? Like niggas say they from Merlin. 
now. You know what I'm saying? When it first started out, guess what? That's what I told niggas. I said, uh, 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 they going to say they from out of state. Old time, they from PG. Birth certificate, Merlin. But they going to say they from <laughs> DC. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas be bluffing. Like, even Wale, when he first came out, like, I, I fuck with Wale still. I love his music. He, he's a dope poet. But when he first came out, he didn't represent where he was from. Like, one of my ex-girlfriends was was one of his ex-girlfriends. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This nigga's from Montgomery County, for real, for real. But you screaming D.C. chilling. Okay, so that is where you chilling, but that ain't where you from, bro. <laughs> it took a while for him. It took a while for him to even say something about MoCo. It's like he disowned where he really was from, and that shit started throwing me off. And I even take it back. I even take it back to, I don't know if y'all remember Tay Bars on that. You know what I'm saying? To this day, we on a whole different page. But, you know, I just, like, got into it with him because I feel like he was misrepresenting as well. He was coming off like he was from D.C. And, nigga, we grew up in the same neighborhood. I watched him. We played basketball together right across the street from Pat House. So you're not going to tell me D.C. nothing, bro. You from Maryland, bro. But it's fine. If nobody want to claim that shit, then guess what? That is I. I am him. Merlin Mascot. Nobody does it like me. Nobody. If you thought oh, that you wrong. Hey, 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 no, I might have to I might have to catch your bluff because if you really he represent he Merlin. Me for the, he me for the 703 good shit. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to test your, your Maryland status because but how many how how many counties in Maryland? Here you go with the counties. Listen, this this <laughs> this, this what I'm gonna say to you. This what I'm gonna say to you to sum up everything, bro. I'm out I'm out Baltimore one day, right? And I asked a nigga for a cigarette. I'm like, hey Mo, let me let me get a jack, Mo. And he like, Mo, where you from? DC yo? <laughs> like <laughs> I got on a, I had on a whole Merlin hat. I'm like, nigga, I'm a Merlin just like you. What are you talking about? <laughs> nah, nah, I said, listen, I pull out my wallet, I said, Slim. When it's time for me to go get my license, it say the same thing that your shit say, bruh. When it's time for us to go get plates for our car, it say the same shit that you'll take. And even outside of that, guess what? From right here in Oxen Hill, Maryland, National Harbor, that I was here before it was here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fucking, it takes 45 minutes to get from National Harbor to Annapolis, Maryland, which is the capital of Maryland. It takes the same amount of time to get from Baltimore Harbor so Annapolis, so you're not, I, nigga can't tell me nothing, bro. I do this shit for real, bro. <laughs> nigga can't tell me nothing, bro. Hold on, hold on. But that didn't answer my question no. with how many counties there in Maryland. Wait, I, I'm not even answering that question. <laughs> I'm not even answering that question. How you gonna be the man of mascot and represent the whole Maryland? You only represent one part of Maryland. The whole Merlin, bruh. Niggas in Baltimore fuck with me like I'm from Baltimore right now, bruh. <laughs> what they call you? Wait, what they call you out in Baltimore? Uh, niggas definitely say yo. I don't, I don't <laughs> do that dummy shit though. I ain't gonna, tell, I ain't gonna hold you. I don't do that dumb shit. <laughs> hey. I say ho. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna I'm give you, I'm gonna give you the best of the best right now. And she wanted me to say something about my brand and all that. I'm going to come right back there. So look, right? Here we go. Let me just turn my shit around. You see this? All this shit is Merlin. Every single thing in here is Merlin. Hold on. Me and my daughter. Me and my mother. Everything in here is Merlin, bro. Me. Mm. Who is him? Him is me. The Merlin mascot. Look, man, Merlin has nigga. That's what that shit stand for. I'm a man. I'm a Merlin has nigga. There we go. This is what I was just talking about. No. Your birth certificate say say Merlin, but you gonna say you from DC. Come on, bro. <laughs> Stop what you doing. Come on, man. Literally hey. everything in here, bro. Yeah. It's, come on, bro. You can't. They can't tell me. Representative Merlin. Representative Merlin. 
We need somebody representing DMV. We got a VA representing hard though. I don't, I don't know if we represent as hard as, as VA. VA coming out at hard, bro. So you VA, have to. VA, VA, VA newly found, though. He newly found <laughs> no, no disrespect. Listen to me when I say this. And I, and I mean no, dis, no disrespect intent whatsoever. Listen, since, since Raina Rucci and, and, and uh, 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 fucking uh, Kevin Gates start coming down here to fuck with uh, Young Mo, and shooting videos out here in VA, that's what really turned, Young Mo really what, to me, Young Mo would really turn VA up for real, for real. Like, I know niggas like Interstate Snake. Like, I know niggas from VA. But to me, ain't nobody turned VA up like Young Mo did. And the same way he turned mm -hmm. VA up, that's how I'm about to turn Merlin up. Okay. Okay. Hey. Oh, you heard what he said. You heard what he said. Y'all is funny as shit. So my brand, right? My brand, I got it on right now. Let me set the phone down somewhere so y'all can see this shit. My brand is called EGF. EGF of Pearl, but EGF stands for Everything Gets Finesse. <laughs> he knows his name. Even God, even God finesse. David. All, everybody in the Bible. Even God finesse people to do his work, Slim. So you're not... Everything gets finesse. I'm coming out with... That's literally about to be a clothing line for the people for church because I know they're not going to really swing with the whole uh, regular everything gets finesse situation. So I'm going to put even God finesse and then put the little <laughs> prayer hand emojis on the side of it. I got something for everybody, Slim, I promise. I promise. <laughs> here we go right here, though. Hey. We all been broke before, right? Never broke again, but this this, this, this is right here. Okay. Hey. Everything gets finesse. Grand Theft Auto, letter front. Me and my man, Young Cleve from, from Cleveland, Ohio, we working on a project right now <laughs> called Two Niggas from the Land. He from Cleveland, I'm from Maryland. You get it. You know what I'm saying? We, we coming, bro. We coming. EGF over everything except God. I don't care who you are, where you from, what you doing. EGF over everything except God. What Benny Single used to say all the time on, 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 uh, on uh, what's the name, but he say, get down or lay down. I ain't, I ain't here to lay nothing down. Just get down or get rolled over. Roll with me or get rolled over. That's all it is. That's so sad. New York. All right, let the people know where they can find you at. Hold on, because you, you had your boy on here talking about how, how he was tapped in with Jim Jones. Guess what? We're going to take it back to New York right now. I want y'all, I want whoever that's really rocking with me and really paying attention to what I'm saying right now, really follow me or at least come on my page and double tap a couple jumps when you get off here. As far as me in New York, I got a song with Mav Hopper before before a whole bunch of goofy shit started going on with Mav Hopper. Jada Kiss, ready to work with me right now. Me and him done linked up. <laughs> uh, Funk Master Flex uh, uh, at Webster Hall. Uh, uh, Fred Joe Star. Like, <laughs> Zay Tove and Ready Work With Me right now just reached back out to me for my project. To, to give me a couple beats for my project. You know what I'm saying? Street is X Studio in Atlanta. Big Stroud himself. I go to a listening session that's, that's, that wasn't even for me. It was for my man that I was just telling y'all about, Young Cleve. I go out there to, you know what I'm saying, vibe with him. I, we go out there together and shit. Out of all the music that the niggas listening, that Big Stroud listening to, one of the T.I. producers outside of Jason Jeter, listening to all the songs, right? He said to Cleve, he said, he said, I fuck with everything that you just played for me, but this song right here in particular, it got substance. Who is this on this song with you? It's my man Stacks that's right here with me. Big Stroud say to me, anytime that you in Atlanta, bro, if you need studio time or beats, hit my phone. And if I don't have time, I'm going to make time for you before you leave Atlanta. First of all, one of the main songs that I'm trying to drop right now called Stack Pray Stay Out the Way. Initially, that was supposed to have been for Wife and Lucci and Trouble Trouble. Lucci got locked up. So I tell Trouble, hold on, big dog. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get back to it, you know. Celebrities normally get a bond. Niggas come right back home. Well, conspiracy. You know what I'm saying? They hit him with a Rico. 
He's not coming home. So by the time I'm ready to tell Trouble, go ahead and knock his verse out, Trouble gun. You see what I'm saying? But now, guess what I did? I turned it into a challenge. That shit about to be global. Right now, it's just DMV. I got I Am Northeast doing a verse on it. Light Show doing a verse on it. Pinky the Rapper doing a verse on it. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. Road doing a verse on it. And there's so many names. Pepin' Ass Ty. It's so many names, bro. I'm not even going to get started. And right now, the only version of it that I really dropped is just the hook for real. It, it ain't even, like, you can't find it on no platform. If I don't if I don't airdrop it to you or text it to you or email it to you, you don't got it. You're going to hear it when somebody drive past you. That's so sad. Hey, yeah. let the people know where they can find you at. Let them know, man. You can find me at Merlin Mascot, man. 301. Merlin Mascot 301. You also can get ready to find me on Netflix as well because I'm in this web series based out of Bronx, New York called Juice Series. It's like a remake of the movie Juice with Tupac, but they put it through it. It's a female crew instead of a male crew. So the first year that we put the joint out, we got nominated for Urban Web Series of the Year Award. BET picked us up. The last four seasons we've been getting nominated from anywhere from six to eight categories. So now B committed us for Netflix. So I'm going to play this song for y'all real quick, and then I'm going to let y'all go, because I know I ain't get a chance to sing y'all the music, man. It's been a long day. But this is the stack pray stay out the way, John, right here. Yeah. <laughs> ain't got no choice. DNA of the DMV, nigga. Yeah, EGF for everything. I'm gonna give you the hook and I'm out of y'all way. This junk called Ride With You. You know, I, any situation you ever been into, people gonna show you their true colors. And nine times out of ten, they probably been showed you their true colors, but you just was colorblind because you love them so much, bro. Yeah. Tap in, man. Tap in. We most definitely appreciate you, Manly Mascot, man. And I appreciate y'all for letting me rock with y'all. Hey. 
Y'all be blessed. You Kill. too. Next time a nigga tell you be safe, tell them niggas breaking the safe. Niggas breaking the safe. Stay dangerous. You hear me? Mm. Mm. Hey. Hey. Uh, Let's get shit pockets. Next person send a request, cause come on. <coughs> Yo. What up? Yo. Hey. Introduce yourself. Man, what's up, y'all? This Lizzy Haver. Hey. <laughs> Where you from? <laughs> I'm from South Lowell. <laughs> Car T Road. You said South Laurel? Yeah, South Lowell, Car T Road. Okay. That's what's up. I ain't never heard nobody say they from from Laurel. Yeah, you don't got a lot of people that's coming from out there for real. Okay. So what is it like growing up in Laura? Like, I don't know. I don't. I'm from Florida, so don't like be offended. Like, I don't have no idea. Like, so I'm like, <laughs> it, it's the same place as everywhere else for for out out PG. Okay. Same place, same stuff that going everywhere else going out Laura. Some some people probably think it's sweet, but it, it's it's really not. Okay. Yeah, I heard. I heard in some parts of Laurel that that get dangerous out there. They get like a little nasty out there. Yeah, that's my side. Okay. <laughs> he said that's my side. <laughs> <laughs> How you know he was talking about that side? Hold <laughs> <laughs> up, for real, for real. That side and, and and the clean side too. That's the other side of Laurel on the PG side. Oh, isn't Laurel, isn't Laurel like three counties? Isn't it like PG and Arundel and like Howard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I for the PG side though. Oh, all right. I might let me go to his music. Yeah, I for the PG side. Yeah, drop that music. I wanna see what you what you what you what you uh what you vibing with. All right, all right. You got Apple Music? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm on Apple Music. I'm on everything. No, I'm talking to Boots. Oh. Apple what? Music? No, I don't got Apple. I don't got Apple Music. Me neither. I got, I got YouTube Red. I got YouTube too. I got YouTube. Ooh. Well, you got videos? I got. Anyway. You got videos on YouTube? Yeah, it's up right there. Mm. Play the first joke. Go ahead. Is that play it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh I'm <laughs> 
Like seriously, mm-hmm. I've been rapping seriously for like two years since 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 twenty twenty. Okay. So yeah, I'm still fresh at it for real, for real. That's what's up, though. I mean, so like, have you been performing and stuff lately? I've had one show in like August. So when I had my your first show in August. Shoot, I, I I can't say too much, but I do got one coming up real soon in the new year. Okay, okay. You 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 go, you gonna come through the R joint on on the thirty first? Cause we need we need you on that joint job cranking the stage. You gonna come through? Yeah, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. I, was gonna I say, bet you, you just there. need to be tapped in because. I was gonna say within this week, I think I got three artist showcases. Ooh, for real? Yeah. All right, all right. One yeah, tomorrow. And she plugged in. One Friday. Definitely two. It's definitely one tomorrow, and then one Friday. And right. it's an artist showcase and workshop next Monday too. It's like forty dollars. Oh, okay, I I do them both the one on Friday and the one that's next week. All right, so just tap in. All right, all right, I'm definitely. Hey, you either, if if you if you talking about some months, like and waiting until next year, like no, you need to get into all these shit so that by the time next year come, you ready. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, you right. You right. You know what I mean? If you got forty dollars, there you go. Like, those are the type of shit you do. Like, because what I've been seeing, like, as far as, like, artist development, like, niggas can't perform. Not saying you can't, but, like, when you're doing it consistently, it helps you with your breathing, your performance, like, you know what I mean? And then it's, like, even though you only been doing it for two years, there's niggas out here that been doing this shit for 10 years, and they not performing, consistently so you'll be ahead of them you know what I mean even though you only been doing it for two years you've been you be performing consistently you know what I mean yeah you right you right you right yeah I mean I'm gonna definitely start getting some more shows right. give me some more exposure because I got a little fan base I got a little strange little fan base I gotta get more consistent with my shows though man like when you get out there though like it, it's like because, okay, so just imagine, like, you write a hit today. You know what I mean? Right. And then you blow up. And then you get all these shows, but you can't fucking breathe through a song. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you don't want to be, like, the equivalent of Ice Spice. And the, the, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, the male yeah. version. Like, you, you definitely got to know what you're doing up there. Huh? You definitely got to know what you're doing up there. Yeah, like, niggas be thinking just, you know what I mean? You be seeing your favorite artists and shit jumping up and down. You think that that shit just, that shit don't take no work. Like, nigga, just that jumping up and down in one spot, nigga, is a lot of energy. Like, just got to be prepared. Like, that's all I'm saying. Like, I done seen that shit so many times. It's like, even though you say you only been doing it for two years, that's how to set yourself up. Hey, if you need a manager, Brody, hey, tap in, bro. We can we can most definitely get some get something working, man. Get something working. And, and then, tap in with y'all, but definitely tap in for man. sure. I mean, definitely. He he. I mean, I feel like 
I feel like, yeah, you need to be, you need to be out there. Then you won't feel like, oh yeah, I only been doing this for two years. You're gonna be like, yeah, because I only been doing this for two years, and it'll be like matter of fact. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, nigga, I be shitting yeah. on that. Yeah, you you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah you so feel like that, differently that. about it, right? And then another thing is, don't sit on your music. Drop everything. Drop it. Drop it. All right. Okay. Now, don't drop air. You got to drop it strategically, though. You can't just drop it strategically, it. but. Yeah. With, with, some, with some marketing behind it, with a good team behind it, with some shows, some lit shows. Yeah, yeah most but it's, it's, it's no fun. point at this point. Like, like your, your, your visual is nice. I see. I'm looking at your visuals, like the people you work with, the visuals. Like, I see, like, you got a little team. You got a little movement going on. So, like, yeah, just keep up that same momentum, like. You most Love definitely want to tap. Put that shit out so people can hear it, so you can work hard and you can push that shit. All right, I will definitely, definitely. I most definitely will. Yeah, definitely. I most definitely will. I'm gonna tap in with us, like definitely tap in with both of us. Both of us, we, me and him, have like completely altered. Like we like this. Our thought process is completely different, but we be like on the same page, kind of shit. So. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. What? Once I get off live, I'm gonna definitely be in both of y'all, and, 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 and we and we will get in contact. All right. All right. What 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 the song you want me to play before you get off? Uh, go on YouTube. Type in uh dragon. Dragon. Yeah. It's an audio. Okay. My ass is hungry. I'm gonna type it in the comments. Yeah, this yeah, that first jump. Where they can find you at? Man, y'all can find me on all platforms at Lizzie Haven. All platforms, it's the same with everything. I appreciate y'all for having me on here. Nah, I most definitely appreciate you for blessing, blessing the I, I, IG yeah. podcast. You know, fuck that shit podcast. We're here every Wednesday from 8 to 10 p.m. Tapping every Wednesday, Brody. Appreciate right. you, man. All right, cool, of course. Stay safe out there. All right. <laughs>
Thank you. All right, who we got? Uh, hey, you he most definitely he got most definitely the love in there. Most definitely love was in here. Most definitely tapping with him. Hey, uh, so so I'm say you looking 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 a little cute out here, Miss Mayback. Hey, but who we got? We adding Tay. Yes. All right. What's up? What it do? What it do? What it do? What up? Ooh. How y'all, man? It made back. When I first hopped in here, you made me want to roll up. So I had to wait and save my day for y'all. I'm like, dang, now I feel like I need to roll up again. Hey, I, I'm white too. Make you roll up. You made me roll up. I ain't lying. <laughs> I feel like you done caught me off guard. Shit. Uh, <laughs> you you was prepared no, to pull your well, shit out. I ain't, I ain't, ain't no, prepared I ain't no drinker, so so you gotta understand. I be with all the smoke and shit. You know what I mean? I'm with all oh, the I smoke. I, I smoke. <laughs> That's what I do. Okay? I sound yeah. like shit. I don't even. I I was I been a little under the weather, so nigga been trying to. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. You get back. I know how that be. Yeah, nigga, nigga be. trying to make sure I ain't just throwing my loves back in the game too too fast, you know. But you got me like, damn. You know, that started off right. Yes. So introduce yourself to the people. I was about to say, uh, I'm Lil Tay, Mr. I Get It. Uh, I'm from Washington, D.C. I'm from Southwest. I'm upcoming. Uh, I You would have probably been saying me consistently, consistent, but they kind of took my music down some hate and shit because they seen that I've been doing what I've supposed to be doing, so that slowed me down, but that ain't going to slow the who process. Is, who is they? I, uh, to be honest, I can't really put a specific name on who really got my stuff put down? Like, I don't know if it's the platforms I went through and they realized I was making money and woo woo, or I'm not sure. But they ain't gonna slow me down. I'm about to just get back on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. So, you basically, you basically saying that you need to tap in with some of these producers that we got that we've been having on this podcast and get in one of these, these project sessions. So, can't nobody oh, take your music down because you got your original beat. No, I no, I pay for all my beats. That's, that's even though, song. even though like, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. You need to get in on, on these sessions. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, you can be all the way in. Ain't no YouTube beat. Ain't no. It's straight you project beat where you yeah. sat down and you came up with some shit y'all together. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what I like better though. Like, yeah, like that's what. Really that's chop it up. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what they. That's what majority of the producers been asking for lately. Yeah, that's definitely what I be. Cause, like, at first, <laughs> I used to like. I I got better at my my craft, so it's like now, like when I make songs, I kind of like go off the top of my head. So when I write my songs now, I used to like literally think about the words, but now I just throw on a beat and like just go off the top and just write what I'm thinking. Cause nine times out of ten, it's like. I kind of got it off the top now, so I just kind of write off the little bit, top a little bit. So that's how I do all my, like, it wouldn't be hard because I turn on beats and just freestyle and just get the beat. And if I'm feeling it, I just go back to it. Okay. Paul's my name. What was up, my brother? Like, yeah, okay, so name. I'm, I be trying to tell people this, like, I'm from Florida, so I, I be asking people this all the time, like, who is from Southwest? Like, do people live in Southwest? Like, yeah, don't I get me wrong. So one, confused. Not, like, you might not, you might not, you might not recognize a lot of people from Southwest, but one person for show that I know a lot of people knew was Savion on Lil Nep. That's one of the people who put on for Southwest was Lil Nep. He passed away, but other than that, it ain't really nobody in Southwest who really took it serious. You know what I'm saying? To really make it on some industry, like it's people who rap. Don't get me wrong, and probably got talent, maybe couple, one or two in my eyes got talent, really, that can really make it on some industry shit, but a lot of people be rapping. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't rap for for a career. People, certain people rap because they just want to do it. You know what I'm saying? 
versus somebody who rapping with a passion, who really want to do that shit. So it's like for 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 me, only one person I know that passed away was Lil Nas, that made a sound for Southwest, for put Southwest on the map. Okay. So what's your what's your influences is um as far as music? Like? Uh, to be honest, I never really grew up listening. Like I I used to have music around me, but I never really had no like. Inf- like no one never I don't I can't no I don't know what influenced me to do music just it was in me like I was young as shit in school like everybody know like they know me like I was young as shit in middle school and like I did like a DC cast it's like a, a test that they do for like middle school back in the day and I did like a song and it went down like rival and I was basically rapping about the DC cast and it went on like the radio news and from there it was like I could probably really do music like so from there I just kept going and I was playing around with it. So I'm just now taking it probably serious, probably like two years now. But after certain things that happened or I done went past, I mean, went through certain stuff, it made me a little harder, made me better. So I just really liked doing music. And another thing I just sat down to myself and really sat to myself and was like, is this music really for me? Like, I really love doing music. I love going to the studio. Like, I love making the words. Like, I love hearing the beat and really getting on the beat and talk about what I done been through or what happened recently or what we just did yesterday. Right, so a lot of rappers can't really put words together like how I can do it. So I feel like I can make it fun with music. That's what's up. A backup plan. A lot of people say you need a backup plan, but I'm so hard on music. I'm just stuck on music. Like That's my plan. Like I don't want no other way in it. But the music. If, if my backup plan is going to be, if anything, it's probably be something like doing tattoos or Start my clothing brand if rap never worked, but I doubt it. But so you can draw, yeah, I can draw. You be drawing, yeah. But I mean, I draw by free time. I mean, this is how I really learned how to draw. I was uh working with kids and uh, early morning, like if I get bored, like I'm a hyper person, I have a lot of energy. So if I don't smoke my weed, I'm, I'm hype. So you, my weed make me calm. I don't smoke weed to look cool, I smoke weed to keep my cool. You know what I'm saying. So sometimes I'd be in school, be bored, and I, we have to wait for the kids to go to class or whatever the case may be. And I just draw, like I draw my life though. Like it's don't, it's not, it's not anything. I usually draw. Um, it's a meaning behind it. Like I got like six pictures in my room. I ain't at home right now, but it's like really real meaning. It's like I drew a pistol, and it's like the person that ha- will pull the trigger is the person that will be next to you, something like that. Who was like. It's different stuff. I got my dad that passed away. I got his tombstone with me, like hanging on, like. The end of the cliff, me sitting down, looking at the world, stuff like that. Okay. And like somebody was like, man, you uh you can draw, you should start doing tattoos. Fuck this job. You don't need the job, you can start being your own boss. So I was just I ain't really take it serious, but that's definitely something in my head though. If yeah, don't like work. don't even look at it like if it doesn't work, like you get tapping into different forms of creative to help you with music. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, don't look at it like that. Like, yeah, fact. Yeah. Because like, I definitely look at music to bring opportunities too. That's why I stop rushing everything once at a time. Like, I don't do a lot of things at once. I just focus on music because me doing music, you never know how far that can take me. I might open up doors and build my clothing brand like this and no time I might meet somebody who do design and, and music at the same time so yeah but I'm just saying yeah, like I'm... make sure like that you not like completely shutting yourself off because that is yeah. like a, its own creative aspect of like completely like that's a like you do audio art and then that's like a visual art so if you can like draw and like I can't draw but people that can draw, like, they tap into something in their brain, like, and, like, how you was, like, you drew something where you on the cliff, and, like, that's just you going somewhere in your brain, like, maybe that would help you with your music, you know what I mean? You never know. Yeah, like, I'm not saying it's, like, a, a, a replacement plan, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, to be a good athlete, you gotta be flexible, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So it's like the same type of thing, like. You know, well, like I got, uh, music on YouTube. My name Lil Tay L Y L space T A Y Y. If y'all do put on a song before I go, I recommend probably two songs. Is my heart and wouldn't know them two songs? I know for a fact is y'all gonna feel something. 
Deuce, you gonna play it? I'm rolling up. He done got me all. My hands. My hands. <laughs> The start is over. Lord, take what and know. Okay, I got you. Let me see. Thank you. I got a y'all gonna fuck with it. Kyle, what's up, Kyle? Kyle, oh, I ain't got a mic on for you. Fuck with me. Fantastic podcast. You said, uh, say it again, brother. You said, what, what, Kyle, tell you? L-Y-L, space. T A Y Y, wouldn't know. This you right here? Yeah, that's yeah. Go to wouldn't know. You should see wouldn't know. Scroll down. Yeah, right there. Right there. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. <laughs>
Hey. Hey, keep job for that. Keep job. Keep job for banging just like that. My recent videos been here 10 K. I've been doing good on marketing. I've been doing good on promotion. I'm gonna get back in motion. Trust me. Hey. Uh, if you could play Lil Tay, my heart, that'd be good. One more for me, that'd be good. I appreciate you. Now, most definitely. Let me see how much. Yeah, we got. Yeah, we got seven minutes left. We we go ahead play my heart. We gonna make it, trust me. If you play it now, we gonna make it. I ain't gonna yeah, do it. No, we got you, of course. <laughs> when you know the right things, sure with a song, you can build new accounts across teams. Step down, so your team can spend more time celebrating wins. Try it for free at Asana.com. The shirts that y'all seen in that video, see, I'm going to get it I'm going to get it together. That's my clothing line I had in there. I was just saying, was it, how was it going to look and all that, so. It's hey, coming. It's coming. that's what's up. What do you think about that one, bro? What about that one? You talking about that song? Yeah, what you think about it? That joint, I ain't gonna lie to you, you know. It, 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 it I like the beat in that joint, but I wasn't feeling that joint. I like the first joint before, uh, before uh, rather than this joint. But the first joint, I feel like you should first, you should push that first joint more, more. Good. And you know, it got it got a story behind it, and most definitely you should start doing interviews and stuff 
and telling your, you know, telling your story and and, and ex exposing your music with it too. I'm just telling my brother, I'm just talking to my brother and telling my uh about to get some interviews and stuff like that. That's why I'm definitely a good time for having me on the podcast. Definitely gonna warm me up. Yeah, definitely. Hey. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna play I'm gonna play that lock in. I'm gonna play that lock in, then we just gonna close it out. We're just gonna rock out with your music. All right. That's a bad lock in crank. Shout out to my boy Cam. Hey, boy. 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 Hey, Hey, make sure y'all pop out every Wednesday from 8 to 10 p.m. Hey,